All right, hello everyone. Uh, so here I am on the ESPLN. Uh, scroll down to a recent post that I just made. It's called Going Paperless in Math. Of course, you have to start with a meme. So now that we've got over that meme and you've had a little chuckle, uh, scroll down a little bit and we realize that the new math program is uh, eating up our printing budget and I've got a solution where you can go paperless in math and I've got step by steps here, uh, three steps for the teacher and one, two, three steps for the students. Eventually I'll put this video on this blog post so that you and your students could look at it later uh, for your own reference. Anyways, first step for the teacher, um, locate and save PDF. So Jancy or one of your team members has shared a PDF, so you click on that, they shared it via email, you click on that, and you can go into the preview mode. Your first step will be to add to drive. So I add, I also organize, and you can create a folder that works for you, whether it's called math or math unit four or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it math for now. Click, and that's where I want it to move, okay? So then I can go in my drive um, and I could even double check that there is that math folder. And uh, there's this cool little search feature here where I can search um, by folders. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. And then there you go. Um, the math folder is going to come up to the top uh, or last modified. Uh, there we go. Now it's going to be at the top. Here, the one I just created. All right, so uh, click on that, and the PDF's in there. Okay, so that's just to show you that it went th where I wanted it to go. The next step is go to teacher dashboard. So here I am in Amy's grade five STEM dashboard. I just thought um, I had access to that, and I thought I would kind of show you how it looks. Um, to do dashboard, everyone's just going to have to go to a new tab, and they're going to type in teacherdashboard.com. And when you go, it's automatically going to take you to a login screen. Uh, and it might even skip you right past the login screen, kind of like this. And in my case, I have access to this class or I have access to um, all the classes in um, the school. But uh, you guys, you'll see your class and it'll be specifically your grade, your class, and it'll be easy, uh, easy for you to see. When you click on that, uh, like here in Amy's, she has the grade five STEM folder. You guys will have um, reading, writing, math, um, I think, and a miscellaneous folder. Uh, so in this case, in Amy's grade five STEM folder, she has shared all these documents with all of her students. And she can see them at a glance, um, all of the students. So let's say, okay, you've, you've got that PDF in your drive and you wanna share it. So you go to Smart Share, you click on Drive because that's where the file is. Now, one of the convenient things about this is that it already pulls up the things that you've been using um, most recently. So here's the math, and here's the math um, PDF that we saved from our email. So I click Select. I can append name. So on the file, when it shares to the student, the file will have this title plus the student's name. And then you can choose class. So in your case, you'll choose students in your class. Groups is only if you've set up groups. So stick with students. And then you can select all students. And your final option will be to click OK. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to share it with um, Amy's class. But let's just see what it looks like for a student. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll walk you through that. So just hang on one second. All right, so here we are. You've just told your students that you've shared something in Google Drive, um, and you swipe down, you go to Drive, and you say, okay, um, you, you will find this in your math folder. And the math folder will already be there. It's really easy. Um, it'll already be there. Um, the school has set it up for your students. The math folder will already be there. So you've shared this file with them, Here's the uh, file that I shared, or at least I pretended to share. Students will open it up. They'll click on those three buttons up at the top. They'll click send a copy. And then you'll see this button here on the bottom left that says open in. You'll click on that. 
And uh, right here, you can see that I have some options to open it in these apps. If Notability, which is my blue one right here, um, doesn't appear, then either they don't have the app or they slide all the way over to the More and then they select Notability. Let's say, for example, it wasn't selected. They select it and now in that open in screen, they'll see um, Notability as an option. So I click on Notability and it'll automatically send it to Notability. I say OK and I'm going to find Notability and it's automatically going to open up and it's going to say, oh, you tried to import something. And you're going to say, okay, well, do you want to create a new note or add another note? I'm going to create a new. And it's asking which pages do you want to import? We want to import both. So I just leave them selected and click import. Then I click open. And now I've got a PDF in my notability that I can scroll through both pages. I can annotate. All right, so let's give you some uh, notability tools. So let's say I wanted to click text. I can tap on there. I can type my name. I can move it down in the right spot. Okay, I want a new text and I tap over here. And today is October 5th. And we're done with that. All right, so then I've got some text in there and I've started annotating. Uh, you can switch to the pencil and you can, uh, well, first you might want to zoom in switch to the pencil and you can start answering questions right on the page right on the page um, and annotate accordingly depending on what the answers are obviously you know I'm just giving an example here alright and then you go through you answer all the questions you even go down here even to the um, the long answer questions and you can start typing um, and answer it all in there. So you can see you have a lot of functionality. You can answer with text, you can answer with drawing, you can label, you can even highlight. Alright, so then the student's done. And you want to click on that export button at the top left. You want to click Google Drive and then you choose the folder. So in this case I was choosing, choosing the folder that I, um, the math folder, the one that's on their Google Drive already and then I'm going to export to math and send to Google Drive and then just to kind of show you how um, it works on the student side so I go back to Drive and I close this now I will see once this refreshes that I have one that's called um, the one that I originally shared and one that's already been annotated so you can see, easy, easy to share, easy to see. Uh, anyways, I hope that helped. Um, now you've seen it, what it looks like for the teachers and what it looks like for the uh, students. So uh, all the best and let me know if you have any questions.